Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And today in video three of the Android 101 series, I'm gonna talk about the benefits of using a Google account and how you can use it to download applications as well as back up your information. If you wanna transfer any info from the current phone that you have, please click the pop-up on screen to make sure that you get all your information transferred over from an old phone. But if you don't have any of that, Today we're gonna to show you how to get it set up so you never have to post on Facebook again. Hey, I lost everyone's contacts, please send them to me. I will be able to show you how to do that. Let's get started. To get started with downloading applications, you'll need to make sure that you have a Google account added to your device. There are two ways to add a Google account. The first thing that you wanna do is click right here on the Play Store. You can also go into the settings, but this is going to be by far the easiest way. If you would like to add a second account, I'll show that to you later. So to add an account, the easiest way is to click on the Play Store icon. This is where you need to have an account to download any applications. So if I come in here to select a box, all you need to do is tap and it will pull up the keyboard. So then I'm going to type in my account. And if you don't have one, you can create one right here and make sure that you remember your password and everything that you use. So then it's going to ask for my password. Once I have my password incorrect, it's going to ask if I accept the terms of signing into a Android device. And then here it asks if I want to automatically back up my device data. So this would include my Wi-Fi passwords, call history, app data. Um, so all the apps you download, it will remember that. It will also store certain files if the app supports it to Google Drive. Um, I encourage you to make sure that this is checked so that if you get a new phone, it automatically signs into your Wi-Fi at home and you don't have to do anything. So here in the Play Store, I'm going to click Get Started. The Play Store allows you to buy movies, music, books, and even news. You can get games and apps as well. So I'm going to click Get Started. And so now that I have a Google account on here, if you've used one in the past, you can actually go to the menu up here in the top corner and click My Apps and Games. And is what this does is it will show you any of the apps that you've downloaded before and you can re-download those. Most of the applications that you use will need to have a separate account sign-in. So, you know, if you use Facebook before and you re-download on here, you will just need to re-sign in. Um, up here, you do have an update all, which will automatically update all of the apps that are here. If I go back, that's gonna take me again to the home screen. And if I wanna download an app, say I wanna download Instagram right here, I just need to select Instagram and I get the install button. I click on that, it will begin downloading the application. If you wanna know more about an application before you download it, here you can see how many downloads that app has. It will also show you the um, rating that the app has the genre of the game or application. And then this little box right here is going to give you information about when it was updated, anything that is new um, in the app as well. And you can click here to see different screenshots of the app. And then you can give it your own rating and then you can see what others have rated it. And if you want to share it with somebody, you can click the share icon right there. If you keep going down, it will give you recommendations of similar applications that you might like to use. So then here you'll see that it has downloaded the app. I can click open it to begin. And over here, there is the uninstall button. So you can come back to this page on the Play Store to uninstall if you would like to do that. Um, there is another easy way to do it right on the home screen. I'll show you that in a second. Um, but here, there are lots of different categories, tons of apps you can get. There's your Netflix. You just need to have a Samsung or a Netflix account, Hulu. Um, many of these may require permissions and you can actually pay for the apps right in the Play Store and it will run you through that. You will need to have a credit card on file or debit card if you want to purchase any app. So here if I go to a game, 
um, you'll see that most of them are free, but you will find ones that require a payment now to buy or uh, in app purchase. So if you buy anything like that, when you transfer to a new phone, all those purchases will still be stored under your account and you'll have access to all those. So say if you bought Super Mario Run, this new game that has an in-app purchase, you would still be able to use that on another device. So then you can also come in here and check out different categories. So say I want to buy a movie. I can go in here to movies and TVs. Maybe I want to purchase music. Music, books, newsstand, all right there. Um, one of the things you may want to do in the Play Store is go into the settings and here you can have it show you notifications about apps. So often you'll see this notification that says, hey, apps need to be updated. And so right here, you can disable that. So if you don't wanna know about the apps that need to be updated, you can uncheck that and you will no longer receive those notifications. If you wanna set up parental controls for a kid that has a phone, you can come in here and say, I only want them to see content that is a PG level and then you would put in a pin code and you can do all that right in the Play Store. So let me show you the movies and TVs real quick. Here, if you bought a movie, so there, if I bought La La Land, I would click on this, purchase it, and then it would be stored on my Google account forever. That means you can also use what a Chromecast device to send this video to my TV. I can use it on a tablet if, it's, uh, if it has this application, the Play Movies app as well. Since I've added my Gmail account, you see that I have some new notifications. So here I install that app. If I wanna open it, I just click on the app icon. It will open that program. If I want to um, hear it saying that I have some new applications that are installed, installed, I just wanna swipe that away. Right here it's saying I have a new update for Google Play services. So I'd wanna click on that and it will automatically give me this option to update. So I just click on there to update. And that's just gonna help your phone work better. That's what updates do. They found maybe a bug or something and these will help your phone operate to the best of its abilities. So that is the Play Store. Um, and I'll just gonna show you real quick. Maybe I want to uninstall Instagram. If I come in here, you see that the Instagram is now in our apps folder. I just hold down on it and it gives me the option to uninstall an app right there. Let's get more back into backing up your information on a Google account. So when I added a contact in my previous video, there was only one contact in my phone. So now if I go into contacts, you'll see that I have a few new contacts right in this device. So if I click on one of them and go to details or info, you'll see that this is backed up on my Gmail account. So no matter what, if anything happened to my phone, that would still be available on my Gmail account online or right here in the application. So if I go into carry the contact I created before and click details, you'll see it's connected just to the phone icon. So that means if anything happens to my phone, I will no longer have that contact. So is what you can do to back that up is I can say move contact from phone and that will back up, I can say add to Google. But let's say I wanna create a new contact. So here I'm going to add a new contact, which is that button down there in the corner. And you can either add it to the phone, add it to your SIM card, but I highly recommend, do, make sure you do this. And if you do it once the next time, it should automatically do this, is click on the Google account that you have. That means when you do this, it is going to back up that info right to your Google account and it will be saved forever. As long as you have a network connection to back up and it will automatically do that in the background. Let's just type my contact info in here. You can type your phone number, emails, it will save anything that you put in here. And then if you want to add a picture, you can also click this. And then here again, you have the I need to allow or deny. So I'm gonna click allow. 
So then if I wanna add a picture, I can either take a picture right there, maybe I wanna add a selfie, I can click that to do it, or right here I can click the gallery icon. So if I go in there, it then pulls from my pictures I have on my phone, and then I can add that as a contact. So I can adjust how that picture looks. And like I said, this will sync on your Gmail account so that it will be backed up and you would only have to do this once for each contact. So then I can add any other information I would like. And then um, I also like to go down here, you can add like notes or events. So you could add their birthday in here and it will remember that um, on your Google Calendar. So now Brett is in here, you'll see that it has the G and it is going to be backed up. Um, you can also add contacts to a group. So if you came in here and click the menu in group, you could have different groups that are on your phone and you could text them all at once. So next I wanna show you how a Google account helps you with your calendar. Okay, so now I wanna go into the calendar application which I had added into this folder right here. So I wanna add this right to my home screen. So again, I'm gonna select and put it right here and there's my calendar. So when I go into the calendar, maybe I wanna make an event and I want it to be backed up so that when I go to my computer, I will see that I added that. So here, let's say tomorrow. So here you see it's already pulling in information from Google Calendar. So if I click the plus, and I can start adding um, a title. So let's say we're gonna have breakfast. Then here, I can adjust the time, the day. So we'll just keep it what it is right now. Actually, let's move it. So I'm gonna move it to, I want it on the 15th. And you can, let's say we're gonna start at nine. So you just scroll through these to adjust that and then I'm gonna click the end time and make sure that it put to, um, we're gonna do 10 o'clock and it's saved for the 15th. So I'm gonna click done. And then right here, you're going to see that it has my Gmail account. So if you select my calendars, it's not going to back it up to anything unless you have a Samsung account on a Samsung phone. But here you have the Google account, you can make sure that it says your Google account right there so you know it's going to be backed up on your other devices. So make sure that's right before you do anything. And if you have gone into the calendars on your Google account online, you can actually add multiple calendars and this is where you would select a different calendar to add it to. You have all the different options, you can repeat it. Um, make sure it's in the right time zone, everything. So I'm just gonna click save. And now we have added that, you'll see right here, we added that to our calendar and that is backed up online. So then the last thing that I wanna show you today is how you could back up your pictures through your Google account. So one of the things Google recently did was added an app called Google Photos that allows you to back up all your pictures right to your Google account. And to do that, all you wanna do is go into the Play Store and this app may already be on your phone. You just search for an app called Photos. So here you click on Google Photos and install. And this application will automatically upload your photos at a high quality for an unlimited amount of photos. So very highly recommended. So you could take this, any photos you currently have on your phone, it will back up. You just click the Gmail account right there and then I click done. And it is now going to start backing up every photo that I take. Right there you can see it's backing up now. The backup is complete and that photo will now be on the computer if I go to photos.google.com and I don't have to worry about if my pictures are backed up anywhere on the device anymore. If you wanna add a second Gmail account to your device, you need to go into the phone settings. And to do that, you can either go to the application drawer and click settings, or if you just pull down from the top of your phone, Right here, you'll see that you have a settings icon. So I can click on that. And now these are the full settings of the phone. And here I can go and see my cloud and accounts. 
If I open that up, I then have a Samsung Cloud, my profile, and then accounts. And if I click on accounts, I'll see the account that I have already added and see what it is syncing. But if I wanna add another account, I can just click add account there. And here it's choosing all the different things that I can do. So to access Gmail, here the Gmail app is there. There is another email application you could add your Gmail to on many of the Android phones, but here I just wanna open Gmail and you'll see that it gives me a welcome screen. I've already synced my Gmail account to the phone, so it is already there and I can just say take me to Gmail and then it will show all your info right here. I can click the settings. I have all the same folders that I had on my computer and everything all in one. If I wanna create a new email, I can just click there and it will take me to do that. Thank you so much for joining me today to learn all about using a Google account and backing up your info on your Android device. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment below. If this video helped you out, hit that like button. And if you would like to see more videos on the Galaxy S8, click up here. And if you would like to see more awesome tech from Google, click down here. If not, continue watching and you'll start the next video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.